what's up guys so this is the first tutorial in this quick tutorial I'm gonna show you how PHP storm works um, actually not everything in PHP storm but just the most essential one how to create a project and to connect to a server so let me show you first of all open it it's gonna take a second all right. so here you can open a project or create a new project uh, create new project from existing files is also a good thing. This one is a whole nother different level. So if you're a beginner, don't even watch this button. So let's say create new project, empty project, yes, and PHP empty project. Well, it, it says PHP, but you're gonna use all kinds of code. So don't uh, don't be afraid. Uh, right. So here's the location. So it's on my desktop, it's called Untitled. So I don't have any file called Untitled, but it's gonna make one uh, himself. So I'm gonna call it PHP Storm Tooth Beginner. PHP Language Level, I recommend using the highest, the, 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 yeah, the, the newest language level, just better. So I click Create and it created a new directory so that's great. So that's how you create a new file. In this file, project file, you can right click and click on new. Here you can create new files like index.html. And there's your HTML. And here you can write your HTML, whatever you like. Uh, right, so you have that. And maybe in another video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do uh, what kind of shortcuts PHP Storm has because it's really the best uh, programming uh, tool out there in my opinion so you can click on new and click on directory Here you can make direct new directories like images and there's your new directory and you, yeah, you can uh, make unlimited directories and files of course um, uh, the good thing about PHP storm is uh, you can go back uh, clicking command Z but also if you delete an file or directory you can also return it clicking Command Z on my Mac Command Z on Windows Controls Z, Control Z. So it, it, it asks you under deleting directory images, you cl just click OK and bam, there it is. All right, so how do you connect to the server? Go to Tools, Deployment, Configuration, and here you can configure your server. Click on the plus icon. Here you can name your server, just name it whatever you want. For this tutorial purposes, I'm gonna call it test server, right? Type FTP, most of you use FTP, sometimes FTPS, uh, but for today, we're gonna just go for FTP. Click on OK. All right, so here you have the place where you can put in your FTP um, username and account settings. So use the FTP host, you just type the FTP host. Uh, right now I don't have an example, but if you got a server, you can get the information from there. All right, and here you put in your username and your password and that's it. When you have that, you just click at test FTP connection and it's gonna come up with a pop-up saying that it is successful or not. So when it's successful, you can go to mappings, here you can change different mappings for your website. I'm not gonna go into this, uh, but sometimes you do need this to have this connection to work good. But this is the most important part. All right, so you have done that. When that is successful, you go to tools, back to deployment and click on browse remote host. Here you can see your FTP files. So here are the remote files and here are your local files. Every time you save something, it goes to the remote file. Um, so you just type something, click on Command S or Control S. I'm on the Mac, so guys, I'm, I'm on the Mac, so I'm gonna always say Command S. But you now you know. Uh, so when I click Command <coughs> Command S, nothing happens because uh, I gotta click on Tools again, Deployment, and click on Automatic Upload. So it uploads automatically, and now you get this error error saying default server test server is invalid FTP host is not specified so automatic uploads not enabled right so 
of course that is normal because I don't have connected it to a FTP server but if you have and you go to tools deployment and automatic upload then it will automatically upload your files to the server when you click command s right so that was it guys I hope it's clear how to uh, connect to a server clicking deployment configuration um, so that was the tutorial for this one uh, I think it's the most important thing in PHP Storm overall I think this is the best programming tool I work as a media front-end developer so I use this a lot for HTML, CSS, SOS, uh, JavaScript, PHP, object-oriented programming of course um, and a lot of things so I really do recommend this as the best programming uh, IDE of course you also have the terminal here so we are a little bit more advanced at programming you gotta use the terminal very often and with PHP Storm you're gonna have the terminal inside your ID so that is really cool uh, so you can install git and whatever you like here alright uh, so that was it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you find of this video and if there's anything you want to know about programming or uh, this IDE PHP Storm and why to use PHP Storm, why not WebStorm? Then, uh, uh, yeah, let me know and I'm gonna answer all your questions.